now we are introducing many new technologies, hybrid cars for example, uh, hybrid drives, and uh, all new technologies will meet a tribological problem that must be overcome before it can be used. We must find more efficient engines, transmissions, wheels to reduce uh, the fuel consumption. So, and the tribology plays a very important role in finding those solutions. I think the networking part is maybe the most important. Uh, a lot of the technical things we work with in our daily work, but uh, getting together and meeting colleagues that are involved in the same type of, of problems is very beneficial. Yeah, I, th I think most companies uh, do not have infinite resources or infinite expertise, so we always have to go out and partner with um, universities or other companies which have expertise and equipment that we don't have. There is a huge, huge benefit in the cooperation between uh, industry and universities. The industries have the real problems and the universities have the time to develop new solutions. Uh, university look at the fundamental side and the industry uh, look at the market side and sharing the information uh, each other makes another innovation or development. That's very important. So there's a lot of interest in what the lubricant can do to help get better fuel consumption or help reduce electricity consumption with industrial machines. So there's a lot of interest in developing low viscosity synthetic lubricants with uh, optimised additives to both give the fuel economy um, lower electricity consumption while at the same time uh, still protecting the engine against wear. Improvements in terms of wear of the mechanics means that you have le less scrap parts. Your car lasts longer and there is a smaller need for replacing the car park. Lulu University of Technology is well known for the collaboration with, the, with industry, especially the automotive industry. And here in the Tribology Group, we have been working with the major truck and car manufacturers for a long time. I believe uh, the industry choose us because uh, we have one of Europe's best equipped uh, Tribology test labs. We are running many components tests as well as more model tests where we actually test uh, a, a clutch for example. We, we are running for weeks, we are testing how the clutch material behaves uh, uh, under a long time of operation. So we are working very much with reducing the friction in, in between the, the, the piston rings and the cylinder liner. That's one of the most important sources of friction. And reducing that friction is important also to reduce fuel consumption. We have found many, many ways to improve the performance of clutch surfaces, for example, bearing surfaces and lubricants also. I've always been really impressed with what the Swedes do. The Swedish universities have a, have a great, they seem to have a great way of getting their students and, and, and ac academics together. There's a real feeling of the, of the community aspect of, of Swedish students that, that I'd very much like to emulate in, in Britain. I think we're, we're becoming much more focused on, on two things now in, in, uh, in modern society, and that's energy, saving energy, and our concerns about the use of energy resources, and also pollution and the, and the, and the environment. And these things have a direct impact on, on tribology. So, um, it, it's really great to see the way that tribology can play a role in, in that and, and, and the new work that's coming out on, on developing lubricants and surfaces and surface conditioning and surface uh, treatment to reduce friction and reduce and thereby saving energy and reducing emissions. And this is a great new field, it's a great new way of, of, uh, of, uh, of tribology becoming important to society and, and, and the world. Where something is rubbing against something else, tribology will play a part.